Welcome to this video, my name is Christian from BM Premiere and the fourth episode of The Boys Season 3 is here. Titled Glorious 5 Year Plan, this is a team of superheroes including Love Sausage, Detractor, Purge, Red Banner, and Collectivo. This is also issue number 12 of the comics, where Little Nina also appeared in this comic issue. Episode 4 opens with Sully Gold. This was a show in the 1980s starring different famous artists from that era. This is close to that of 1982. This one has images while the original has videos. This episode is a road trip to Russia to discover info about the weapon that allegedly killed Soldier Boy, but a big twist that happened at the end of the episode. M. Emma has a special anger against Soldier Boy as he caused the death of one of the members of his family. The episode continues from a conversation of Huey and Butcher as he is using the new compound B, B24, as well as how Huey is really interested about this and how at the end of the episode he used it and what he does he feel about actually taking this, as well as what powers he's going to have. After last week's episode, Homelander continues his speech and how he's able to manipulate the news in his favor. We'll see Victoria and Stan Edgar that are dealing with the situation and what happens with a big twist in this episode. I just love how he says he's not going to let anything happen to her, but as we can see is how she does a reverse and accuse him later in the episode and he not longer being the bot CEO. This was a nice twist in this episode. And the reason that Stan Edgar is not longer going to be in the show is because we know that, that he's going to be in Better Call Saul. So, hey, we, we see little Nina in the comics. Something goes crazy. <laughs> and it's too descriptive for me to say. But yeah, you go check it out in the comics. It's going to blow your mind. So what's happening is that Butcher has to pay her and her payment is some action. This connects to how she is in the comics. The reason Butcher is doing this is to get some information on where to go next to discover that weapon that hurt Solar Boy. So after the case of Homelander and Starlight, this brings big consequences on how Huey feels about this. Something that I love about in this episode. This motivates Starlight to push Huey to get uh, that weapon to stop Homelander once and for all. Another issue is how Blue Hawk is a racist superhero killing people in bad neighborhoods and something that we're gonna see in the next episode going from what happened at the end of this episode as well where A-Train uh, betrays Starlight and Supersonic. Uh, we see the protest of love and peace is a commercial on, or a parody of the Pepsi commercial of the uh, Kardashian which is like three minutes long. But yeah, this was a nice Easter egg to that commercial. Now the team comes together flying to Russia. This is a road trip episode as well as how, you know, Butcher wants to find that weapon to kill Homelander. They think that this is what's going to happen, but it's the opposite of this. And that is something that I love about this episode. Now, something that I love as well is how Queen Maeve is also preparing to fight in a team up of Maeve and Starlight knowing about BSL Red, which is a weapon that they want to find to build a team to stop Homelander. And this is something that Starlight is doing, but the consequences of this going with what happened uh, with Supersonic. Now, Queen Maeve wants to get out of this world. She wants to quit all, all of this, leave this life behind, and how that's going to be uh, played out in the, in the episode, which is something that we see here. These are his crazy the visuals in Russia are awesome. One of those is Homelander kissing Black Noir, as well as how Russia see the heroes killing everyone. Uh, this is the crazy part of how they idolize Homelander. And the poster reminds me of that of Superman Russia, which is like a, a what is type of situation where super where Superman arrives in Russia and he becomes Red Sun. Something that we see here with the with the with the poster. Also, I just love how Butcher is straight up fired this season and him having powers is what the best thing decision that they could have done. Starlight is inviting Supersonic to be part of the group. However, this goes in a different direction knowing that Homelander uh, does to him at the end of the episode, which was a big uh, twist. We think the plan they have is good. However, Homelander continues to be racist as well as the twist of A-Train actually going against Homelander after what happens with him being rude to him and just the way Homelander uh, spoke to him in the episode. Now the deep, like we can see here, he's a kisser, something that Homelander says to Ashley, something that she says to Cameron later on. And I just love how those things and how Homelander 
actually behaves against other people. This is after Victoria Newman is actually going to do a speech and how that changed. Adrian confronts Deep, something that Adrian says to him. And I just love this part of the episode. This small fight was awesome. And how Homelander goes to the Deep instead of Adrian shows how, shows how racist Homelander is. Now, what we think is going to happen with Supersonic and A-Train and bringing him with the plan doesn't go in that direction, as we can see by the end of the episode. And how A-Train yeah, does this to go against Blue Hawk, which is something that he was teasing this episode. Now, the last three minutes of the episode where we see Kimiko going into this awesome mission with music from Bill, a bit poison. And a lot of this scene is pure awesome she's so awesome she's so great and i just love her, the character of kimiko this season she is the best and of course they don't see her as a hero the the people there they see her as a most monster which is something that we see when she's she speaks with uh with frenchy about this and how they want to as well quit uh, quit the the team so let's see what happens with that anyways the big twist is that when victoria newman provides the info on stan as he's doing illegal activities and how this changed the season as well. Homelander provided details on Stan, this allowing, this allowing Homelander to control the company, removing a Stan Edgar. However, the reason that she does this is because she wants Compound B to use on her daughter. Also, we see Ashley using the same line again, and this is so funny that I can't even show because you know how YouTube is, so yeah. So after this successful mission, they go all together to find the weapon to use on Homelander. And what we think about it, about this is that it's going to go well. They're going to find the weapon, but no. Of course, the show is doing a little twist uh, this season. Where we see the remaining minutes of the episode are going to find the weapon. However, this is a lie as Soldier Boy is alive. So the weapon is not real. However, during the last minutes, Huey used his powers, allowing him to teleport not having any clothes this was sure my favorite part of the episode as they discover that they have powers this being Huey and Homelander and how MM is mad about this decision as well as the team they don't want this like hey how can you do this at the end of the episode we discover that Slaughter Boy is alive and the weapon is fake so how he's alive and how he was captured and that we will have to wait and see in the episode but after being alone and hidden for so long he explodes like a bomb. This hurt Kimiko and I'm excited to see what's going to happen to her as she doesn't have any healing powers. So how she's going to be okay by the end of the season is something that we'll have to wait and see. Also, Huey is like in Euphoria where we see this him feeling this a uh, high of having the V24. So let's see if he gets hooked on this. There's no more theme after this. this is something that MM says. So as well, what was going to happen with that? But how the episode ends, well, Homelander, again, is crazy this season. He is insane. So to sell the relationship, he goes and takes Starlight and shows what happened to Supersonic. Atrium told him that what happened. So again, this is the reason why Atrium does this is because he wants to go against Blue Hawk. And he threatens her. And this was incredible scene. And what an incredible way to end the episode. How this is going to be in the next episode, cannot wait for next week. As always, this show is crazy and bananas. And that's something that you like about this show because it doesn't hold back on the craziness. So what are your thoughts on this episode? Leave your comments below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Christian from Beyond Premiere, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.